And in that moment, I had a vision. And in the vision, I saw the faces of little children and young people in different ages, but I noticed they had different colored skin. Mm. And they were either crying or screaming. They were really suffering. And then the, the Lord spoke to me. I think it was one of the few times I heard the audible voice of God. It was so distinct. I can tell you verbatim. And that was uh, 1976, which is a few moons ago. And uh, he said, the children of the world are suffering more than you can comprehend. And it's going to get worse. But I've chosen to reveal myself to them as their father. Okay? And I was, I was weeping because I was so touched by the broken heart of God. But even as I wept, I felt guilty because I had two huge questions in my mind. Number one, can children really know God as their father? You know, I was a, I'd been a pastor, been to Bible college seminary, and I was struggling with knowing God as my father, emotionally and otherwise. Jesus, no problem. The father, mm, still on a journey. And here I am. If I'm having a hard time, how can children know him like that? I'd never seen it. I didn't think it was possible. That was my first question. Okay. And as I was asking that question, another chapter and verse came to my mind. It was um, 1 John um, chapter 12, uh, 1 John chapter 2, verse 13. And it says, I write unto you children because you know the Father. When I read those that verse, Suddenly I realized, oh my goodness, I have a lot to learn. Please teach me, Lord. I, I don't know about the spiritual capacity of children. 